This could do it. Bill's reeling in a little bit extra seagrass. And we got the fish close. Sweet. Limit. 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 Three man limit. Awesome. Woohoo. We hammered. Is it on? We just got hammered. Hammered. It's almost in. What's it feel like? Pompano? Yeah, it feels like Pompano. They are hungry today. We got our first one with the, with the first, like, tw 20 seconds so, of the line. Brandon and I are only fishing with two lines right now. One because of the surf, and two because the action is hot. So just to manage this. Pompano! Yup. That's not a bad one. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the beach. I think today is going to be a treat. We are in between storms here on Pensacola Beach and we barely got set up and we started getting hit right away. We've already got two in the bucket and we're going to go for more. Uh, so Braden and I are out here so our target is 12. Maybe our standards are high but uh, it's going to be a fun day. Thanks for tuning in today and we hope to bring you some more fish. Quick scan of the beach. We've got thunderstorms in the vicinity. It's choppy, it's windy, and the pompano are here. So we've decided just to fish two rods with the current the way it is, and how much reeling we're gonna be doing with checking bait, keeping our lines straight. This is gonna keep us busy, but rougher conditions, but the fish are biting, so we're gonna fish through it. Our rig here, we're gonna use a Standard double drop pompano rig with a 20 pound test line. For the top dropper, I'm going to put a piece of shrimp and a piece of green fish gum. For the bottom dropper, we're going to put on a sand flea. And a piece of sand flea fish bites. You can see that. Braden just got a strike. We're gonna anchor this with a four ounce sneaker guy Sputnik. Cast this out while Braden's reeling something in. Dad, I'm on. We just got absolutely smoked. But yeah, we're on. We just got smoked. I was gonna I was gonna try to check our number two rod because it was bouncing like I had a whiting on it. And we just got smoked. There it is. Pompano number three. Yeah, we might need to put that spike back in. That was quick. Told you. When they're here, they're here. Yeah, baby. He's going right. That's a great sign. He's in the surf. Come on, baby. There we go. Almost landed him. Shoot, that's the fastest we've caught a pumpkin in a while. About that line. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it feels like a pompano, but they are hungry today. So, Braden and I are only fishing with two lines right now. One because of the surf, and two because the action is hot. So, just to manage this, we're gonna go with just two lines. But here's another. Solid pump, probably another 12. Man, I just cast this thing out. This is awesome. I think 
I just casted this out and I was getting ready to cast the one that Braden just caught on. This has got pomp candy, fish gum pomp candy, and uh, I think sand flea fish bites. On my other rig, I threw off my real sand flea. We got wind in our face, so I might just stick more with the artificials today. He's racing in, still. He's close. Almost got him. A little last fight. He's at the shoreline. He's at the shore. Get him up and over this bank. Boom, I think that's number, that's like number six. Great, I'll get him up and look and you send it back out. Fish on? My father-in-law just got here and we got we're on our seventh pompano so we're increasing our goal today to a three-person limit all right straight ahead all right so as he starts coming to the shore back up a little bit so we don't lose him because they'll flop off right there all right that's a little one he's he's probably going to be close we're on fire now number eight bill just reeled in one not even a minute ago i was getting ready to go measure it and we we're on again the number nine this is all in a matter of minutes Pump number nine, what's he feeling like? I don't know, he's coming in, it's hard to tell. Trying to get an appreciation for where the line is. He's uh, kind of a little bit left. Yeah, he's running left. That's a, there he is, he's on shore. Bring him up. Pump number nine. They're all about this size today, guys. All about a 12 inch to the fort pumping out. Fish on. Keeper. Nice. My hands are all sandy still from trying to grab that fish. How's he fighting? My chartering services are about to go up. Here we go. It's getting close. It's get oh, good. Last extra fight. I love that. Yep, landed him. I'm trying to get my camera on him. Oh, he's he's fat. All right, so that's uh, almost 17 to the fork. Here, let's get that, that thing struck really nicely.
Jim. That's a good fish. Good strike. Good strike. That was a good strike. That was a good strike. It's your fish, I think. On. Maybe. He's on there. This one's real aggressive. Back in business. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a nice one, actually. That's a really good one. That's a lot. On again. Giving some pretty good head shakes. He's probably a keeper. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. Just casted this rod closest to me out. We'll see how long it takes to get a strike. Updated the bait, threw it back out there over the bar. Number two! All right, well, not number four, but number two. We'll go watch Braden reel in number 13 or 14. Braden calls everything off. But I bet you that fish is still there. Is it on or off? You said it was off again. I know, I know. Nice. Pop number 13 or 14. I just said we're going to wait. We hit number two, and number four just went off. Brayden, you gonna take the hook off that fish? This one was out maybe two minutes. Fresh bait, over the bar. They are biting today. I think the bait of choice is just bait. They are hitting everything out there. He's going right. Keep reeling. And Matt, which way did you say it was tightening? To the right. To the right. Give it another half turn. There you go, that, that should be good to bring him in. Right. See, so you're, yeah, you're close. You oh, we're crossed against this guy. Sorry about that. Go ahead and bring it up. 
this year. We've had a double oh, up. I say, I've never seen that. Nice. But, yeah, let's hurry up. We gotta catch back up. We're at school. Yeah, I got a double up. All right, got a good strike. Good lord. Let it be a good one. It was a real good initial strike. It's hard to tell. It's going to the right. That's a good fighting fish. We need a big pompano for the tournament. He's got it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ah, come on. Come on. It's a good fish. He's fighting good. Good head shakes. Moving right, moving left. Racing in now, he's close. He's close, parallel to the beach. Bring him in. All right, see if we can pass it to Renee, Bill. All right, this is Rene. We've, we've met him a couple times out here fishing and we've been trying to get him on Pompano and we finally got him on one. Keep that rod tip up. There we go. All right, so he is running to the right. Nice job, nice job. He's close. He's gonna make a run for it on the shore. He's coming left. All right, so reel and back up. There it is. Yeah! That's a good one. That's a good fat fish. We're gonna hand it over to him and let him hold it. That's not a bad one. He's a, he's a, he's a worm, he's a mover. Look at that fish. What do you think, Renee? Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey man, we'll see you next time on the beach. Okay, my Thanks everybody. for joining us. This could be number 18. This could do it. This could get us our three man limit. This could do it. Got a little more grass on the line. Yeah. This could do it. Bill's reeling in a little bit extra seagrass. And we got the fish close. Sweet. Limit, limit, limit. Three man limit. Awesome. Such a great day. We are releasing Pompano now. Over here. What does it feel like, Brayden? Oh, he's going really far right. Well, I think it's in close enough, it's not going to cross our lines. Oh my gosh, it's going right. Is that another pump? Goodness gracious. That's a good size one. All right, releasing another pump, I know. That is gonna do it from Pensacola Beach today. I've gotta to say, this is the most incredible day of fishing we have had. It did not take long for us to catch our triple limit of Florida Pompano. It was just a pretty steady bite. Bait of choice, bait. Put something on the hook, over the bar, and the fish were on. It was incredible. Um, we had three other anglers that were out here next to us. I didn't really know them before today. One guy I knew, uh, Renee, one of our subscribers, so good to see you out on the beach, Renee. But uh, these gentlemen weren't catching fish initially. 
You've got to get it over the bar right now. We had one rod that was short, nothing all day. Everything that was uh, hit was all over the bar and it's about 80 to 100 yards. So if you don't have a rod in your arsenal that can get 80 to 100 yards, pick one up, practice, get that far so you can reach the pompano when the bite is hot. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you guys next time.